Hey guys, welcome back to Air Guns Extreme. Here today, we're just gonna talk about some uh, things about the Maxim with the issues I'm still having. Um, <clears throat> if you guys are all wondering if this is gonna be the accuracy review with the Magnum, this is not the accuracy review with the Magnum, not yet. Um, but anyway, so I'm here today to talk to you guys a little bit about the um, magazine issue or the mechanism issue on the gun. Um, so all of you probably already know that I said in that one video I was having a lot of issues. That video is blowing up right now. Um, and I called Gamo. Gamo did send me an extra magazine. Well, if you guys all don't know, a lot of you probably already know, but the Gen 2 uh, Swarm Series guns are the flat series mechanism. Um, so anyways, the magazine that comes with this gun is right here. Well, they sent me another magazine just like this but it had the same issue. So I contacted them again, and they sent me a whole different magazine. And this magazine that they sent to me, I got in the mail yesterday. This magazine's a whole different one. This is one of their newest magazines. This one um, is just different. And I don't know um, if this mag is gonna work, but we're gonna go ahead and test them today. We're gonna go ahead and send some pellets down range, and we're gonna find out if really this newer magazine, the inertia driven uh, magazine <clears throat> over the standard magazine. And I have two of these and both of these magazines don't even work in the gun. Like, so I <clears throat> figure, well, we'll go ahead and do a video with this magazine versus this mag and we'll see. And I'm gonna tell you guys the reason why this magazine doesn't work in this gun. And I'm gonna point it out to all of you so you would all know what's going on here. So. Our, we're just going to go ahead and fire five shots, and the pellet that I'll be testing is um, one of its favorites out of this gun, the Predator Polymag Shorts, the 15.89 grain. And we're just going to go ahead and test out both magazines. So I, I'm, I'm not even going to aim for bullseye. We're not going for accuracy. We're just going to aim and shoot, um, but this, gun, this gun's a tack driver with these pellets, so we're going to find out here today if uh if this new magazine will outbeat the older magazine and um we're gonna find out right now i should have loaded these before i did this so i'm loading up the new mag and as you guys can see here if you got it's gonna be kind of hard to see but as i load the pellet and I turned it, the little red thing clicks forward. And when it clicks forward, it holds that slot. See, just like that. So that it holds it and there's not even a pellet in there yet. And I'm on five right now. So the older magazine, you'd have to hold it. So Let's go ahead and just shoot the old mag first. Like I said, five shots. Oh my God, this gun's so much easier to shoot or cock than the other one. Okay, so that one's cycle. So to that one. So to that one. I'm just hitting a steel little gong out there. Okay, so this magazine's empty. That was five shots. Let's go ahead and let's see if this new magazine changes anything. Okay, so here you guys go. So the gun's unsafe, but the pellet's in the chamber. That slot is empty. So basically, the way this magazine works, that it does not work in this gun at all. I tested this before I did the video or before I'm now doing it. Um, this this magazine is driven when you shoot the gun. So you can sit there and I can cock it and it still says five. I could even do it again. And it still shows five on the magazine. I mean, it's, it's like an anti 
uh, double load feature on this new magazine and it does work. That feature works on it, but here's the problem. So if I go ahead and shoot, I shot and what this magazine is supposed to do is supposed to, the recoil is supposed to put the next pellet in there. Well, as you guys can see, there is no pellet. So I have to hit this little, this little red thing. And you see how the pellet comes up now? So I don't see, I don't like that. And once again, nothing. So once again, I have to sit there and hit that little red thing. For hunting, that ain't good. Once again, nothing. So, like I said, I have to hit that red thing. So, Gamble, I don't know why, why they sent me this mag, but it sure doesn't work <clears throat> out of this gun. And we're empty. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and throw some down range real quick. <clears throat> we're going to shoot a three shot group out of each of them. And we're going to aim, aim for the target now. <clears throat> and as I got a little bee by me right now. So, <clears throat> so there's three in that one in the new mag. And here's the old mag. So we're going to see if this new magazine will shoot better accuracy out of the, than the old one. So once again, so I hit the little red thing again. Still nothing. And the accuracy sucks. So now we're on to the old mag. Let's try this. Get this out of the way. Can barely barely hold steady right now. So, really did it change the accuracy? Nope. It did not change the accuracy, not one bit. So, um, I'll be in contact with Gamma again um to figure this out and when i do contact them um i'll show them what's going on so anyways guys that is it so if, um if you guys are having a problem with the maximum gen 2 um try not to get this magazine they sent it to me it was free so i didn't have to pay anything but this is basically just a review <clears throat> over this new mag the inertia driven mag I might be saying it wrong. If anybody does know, please correct me on that one because I'm not stupid. But um, over the mag that comes with it, and I got two of these.